shit. Okay. I got two babies up there. Mum's circling me. Hey! Hey! Ah! She ain't fucking scared. So, this is my uh, second rest stop on my way up to base camp, obviously, but uh, anyways, I just thought I'd share something really cool because this is the second time in my life that I've come across this, and I'm going to add something to it this time, I just have no idea what. So anyways, uh, dropped my backpack, literally come to sit down, oh, so I sit my butt on the rock. Now look over, you know, whatever, see a little piece of paper. So I grab this, and there's a rock, and it says, Hello, fellow geocacher. I hope this jasper stone brings you strength. And then there's something written inside. So I know a little bit about uh, geocaching, because I've found one in the past. And it had a whole bunch of neat stuff in it and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, uh, here, switch there. So I uh, knew that there was going to be something around here. And lo and behold, right behind the rock, there's a geocache. So let's uh, open it up. Hold on a sec. Here, I'm going to put you down. Anyways. So we'll open it up, and there's on the lid, don't know what it means, but it says B1, there's a little baggie, and there's some little things, hello fellow geocacher, I hope this rose quartz brings you love and peace, there's one in there, and what's this, another rose quartz, it's very cool. There's a, uh, a ring. I'm assuming that people have taken these and they left something behind, like a bouncy ball, a ring. Um, so I do know that if you do take, I don't think I have a pen with me, so we'll log this manually. But anyways, if you do do a geocache thing, I don't want to, I'm not going to get up close because there's people's names and stuff on there. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought that was, uh, very cool. There was a whole bunch of people that have found some stuff. Oh, and if I just go to the very top, this is from a geocaching.com game. There. Anyways, I, myself... Because that one, ooh, that likes me some Jaspers. It's not a red one, but I'll take it. And I am going to leave behind. What the hell am I going to leave behind? Well, think of something to leave behind. Anyways, I literally just sat down. So, give me a minute. And uh, i got to think of something to leave. Okay funny I uh, normally have a whole bunch of quartz crystals on me but I don't today so I'm gonna leave a quarter I don't have a uh, pencil Oops, the quarters in there now I don't have a pencil to write in there but everybody knows fire rabbit was here geocached that, that's so cool anyways uh, going to going to finish my break here this is where I stopped for like five minutes, but this has already taken like ten minutes just to go through all my stuff to figure out. I don't have any quartz crystals on me. Anyways, it's a very cool thing. It's the second time in my life I've uh, come across that, so 
I became a part of it one time. Awesome. Anyways, I got a long road ahead of me. It is uh, just after 5 o'clock. I'm not going to get to base camp till about 6.37. So it's going to be a late one, but at least it's not that hot out anymore. Check in with you in a minute. Woodland creatures, blessings of the day to you, blessings of the evening to you. Fire rabbit here, where are we? Back at Camp Gribbly. Uh, Two-nighter, although it's going to seem more just like a one-nighter for the video purposes. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock now, so I'm pretty much just going to unpack and relax a bit. I'm not doing too much tonight. Um, there's a fire ban. The fire ban officially took effect this week, so I have no fire. So once the sun goes out, other than flashlight use, you aren't going to see too much of me tonight anyways. But uh, glad to be back. Going to do a whole bunch of uh, camp work tomorrow. Um, yeah, maybe throw in a little bit of exploring, but definitely, definitely going to do some uh, camp upgrades. Um, glad to be here. So uh, let me finally relax. I left my house at 10 o'clock or 9, o 9 or 10 o'clock this morning and it's almost 8 o'clock now. So once again, my buses did not line up. 
But that's okay. We're here. Woo! I'm gonna sit down. Got a couple of new tools. Uh, one's a major tool. Got me a shovel. Just a little one. But uh, I got that. And I got myself a spork. Because there is no campfire. And honestly, I'm tired of using my small, tiny, little pink plastic thing. I wanted a, uh, a utensil that can actually fit inside my backpacker's uh, dinner things, the prepackaged mountain house style meals. Anyways, I'm sitting down for a minute. <laughs> Nice. <sighs> Just need a place to rest my feet. I'm guessing half hour, less than an hour of sunlight left. Just kind of relaxing now. Going to uh, make up some coffee, and uh, I'm not going to make dinner right now, but I am going to make some s'mores, some chocolate s'mores. So yeah, so coffee and some s'mores. Oh, funny thing! Look at that. I got a MSR isobutane bottle today. Let me tell you why. Went uh, to Canadian Tire yesterday to pick up, oh, where is it? I always buy these guys from Canadian Tire, about six bucks. Anyways, they discontinued them, and they won't tell me why. And I told them, like, should I be worried, because I've been using them for almost three years. Anyways, they didn't have an answer for me. So I had to spend double the price on a smaller one. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, just cooking up some, boiling up some water. Gonna have some s'mores and some coffee. Just kind of relax. I got my hammock all set out. My bed all laid out. It's gonna be really nice tonight. So don't need the tarp over me. Yeah. Started working on a chair and propping the little overhang of the moss thing. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that, but 
with it just flopping without those two poles pulling it out, any rainwater is just going to drip in. So, I'm trying to think of what to do without having to cut the tarp. Cut, cut, and then pull that out. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to take the tarp back if I ever wanted it. Anyways, first world problems of living in a bush. Oh, my water station. That's my water station. Let's go over and get some water. Bam, bam. Stay thirsty, my friends. So now here's the interesting part. Because we all know, I tend to make my stuff soupy. I make it soupy. I don't want to make my s'more snoop soupy this time. So now, we got, ow. Still moving that. So let me show you something. We have, little markings inside. So right now I have 700 milliliters of water boiled, but I only need 160. So what I'm gonna do, what the hell am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna fill this until it gets to 500 so there'll be 200 milliliters in here, and then I'm gonna pour a little bit back, and hopefully that equals 160. Okay, so that's 500. That seems about right. halfway between the five and the 600, so should be 160 milliliters. Now the other silly thing is it wanted me to add cold water, but I don't have cold water. Well, I mean I do, but it's not filtered or purified. So I'm gonna add warm water, which makes sense to me anyways, because aren't s'mores hot? So why would I want this cold? So anyways. See, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna add it, add it all up, stir to boot. My new titanium spork. So let's stir up this bad boy. Oh yeah. Stir it all up. Oh, it smells good already. Graham crackers, and do I add that after? Yeah, add it right now. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Not a very good stirrer. I got graham cracker crumb crumbles. Pour it on top. There we go. Mm, right there. Mm, right there. Turn this bad boy up. Nah, nah. Not more today.
Yes, it will never leave my side again, Craig. <laughs> I wanted to try something different. Woo-wee! Add the graham crumbs. Sprinkle it about. And wait 10 minutes. So, mm. while I'm doing that, pour me up a coffee and sit and relax. made mine a mocha to go with my chocolate s'mores, but uh, not gonna lie guys, it's getting really dark and uh, not gonna film too much more, so let's take a bite of this mush. The smash old mush. Oh, that's going to give me a sugar rush. That is not going to help the teeth problem, but that is good. A little runny, but you know how I do. Mm. That's good. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish this off. Finish off my coffee. Honestly probably just have a smoke and lie down, listen to music for a bit. I didn't bring a book or anything this time, so. Been writing a lot of music again lately. Yes, here you go, fun fact. I used to be a rapper back in the day. I have uh, five albums released, not that you can buy them, but I have five albums, three hip hop albums, two punk rock albums, um, yeah, used to run a recording studio, and now I do this. Anyways, guys, I, uh, maybe one day you'll hear some new music from me. I have, uh, my cousin, my cousin's in a band, he runs his own, uh, record label and production company. Uh, Flub the Duck is his, uh, band name. So check them out. It's uh, ska music. It's uh, very, very cool. I like it. But, uh, yeah. So you got some different things on the horizon for me. Not that I'm steering away from bushcrafting. But uh, just trying to expand my horizons again. Get back into some of the stuff I used to do. But yeah. It's time to uh, relax. The sun is just about like down, down, down. I don't know how much of me you can see right now. Ah, but it is getting pretty late. So I bid you guys adieu. If uh, anything happens, if I get eaten, if uh, monster, Sasquatch, anything comes to say hi. I'll uh, kick back on the camera. Otherwise, uh, see you guys in the morning. Cheers. Oh, this non-fire is so warm.
pretty chilly up here. And while it is tinder dry, I, I really do wish I could have a fire. But I'll crawl into my hammock. My sleeping bag is rated to like minus 7 or minus 10. And I've got my wool blanket. So my wool cloak. <laughs> Being warm won't be an issue. No fires. No fires, I say. No fires. All you fuckers out there think that you can sneak a fire in. Don't sneak a fire in. You can't. It's tinder dry. Tinder dry. Hey, maybe I will collect some tinder. I mean, not right now, but... During the fire ban. <laughs> I don't... I don't fuck it. I'm turning the camera off. I'm talking to myself. It's all weird. Night, guys. I'll catch you in the morning.